now I'm that's hella loud. Hold on. So now I'm cooking um yellow rice because I got tired of brown. Oh, you can't see it. Well, it's yellow rice. I mean, you can cook yellow rice in a rice cooker, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make the rest of my siomai, and, um, hopefully they're, like, I mean, they're definitely, they're not, like, frozen anymore, but, <laughs> they should still be edible, I'm, I'm sure. So cute! Okay. And then there's the yellow rice, I just put it in there and added water. The plug... It's all plugged in. Look how cute. Alright. I'm just gonna set this on the seat right next to me. Hopefully it doesn't move around too much. Uh, now I'm gonna drive to the beach, which is like 15 minutes away. It takes about 30 minutes to cook the rice and whatnot. So I'll probably be waiting like um, in a parking spot for a little bit for it to finish, but yeah. Now it's cooking, and now we can get on the road. All right, so it should be all done. Sorry, this is like a weird angle, but. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, ow. All right. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay. We, well, it's definitely warm. Not gonna work. Maybe I just. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Well, this is not going. What? What? Uh oh. All right. Yeah, that blue shit is like coming. I don't know if I was supposed to remove it, but it's coming off. So I don't know. Okay, the rice is made. Well, I just gotta mix it up a little bit. Maybe not with chopsticks. My yellow rice. I made about a cup, I think. Yeah. And then let's try to seal mine. Mmm. Much better. Much better than yesterday. Nice and warm. I mean, it's not like super authentic, like I would rather go to a dim sum place, but it tastes like a, like a frozen, frozen dim sum entree. <laughs> mm. Kind of a weird breakfast, like yellow rice and dim sum, but that's just what I had, so <laughs> that's what we're eating. <laughs> So this is Folly Beach in South Carolina. It was like super beach town, super touristy vibes, but it was still really cute and nice. I had a very peaceful, chill little day here at the beach. Just chilling. And this place looks so cute. It reminded me of like those little Japanese markets, but it was definitely not Japanese and they definitely didn't have any fish or spam the subi or bento boxes, unfortunately. But yeah, the town was bustling with people. There was a lot of young people out, a lot of people going to the beach, a lot of like friends going out. And then I finished up my food and I got some shrimp from a Harris Teeter and ate that with my rice and went to this local park. And yeah, and then I cleaned my car. <laughs> I've made it kind of a thing to go to an Asian supermarket wherever I could find one. And so this is one in Myrtle Beach. And then I went to Myrtle Beach, and um, it was extremely touristy. It kind of, kind of had almost like Miami vibes, like like Miami Beach kind of, sort of, but like less Miami. <laughs> it was still pretty like touristy, a lot of people, a lot of, um, yeah. So I got my rice underneath, and I'm going to try to steam as much spinach as, as I could fit in this tiny little thing. It looked like so much, now it looks like so little. <laughs> Got the spinach rice mixing up. It looks good, I hope it tastes okay. I like, 
usually make this very differently when I'm at home. And this is some leftover vegan Korean barbecue chicken from Whole Foods. I had some last night and then yeah, and then this morning. Here's my food. Hopefully, hopefully it's edible. It's edible. <laughs> it's not bad. I finally made vegetables. <laughs> Today I'm gonna make um, Hainanese chicken rice. Uh, usually I use this as like a sauce. Like I just like pour it out and like use it as like a dipping sauce for my like vegan chicken or like fi vegan fish or whatever. But I am going to try to use it to actually make the chicken rice like you're supposed to. So I got the rest of my right. You can't really see it. Um, yeah, I don't like. It's kind of hard to wash this, so like, don't judge. But uh, yeah, so there's like the extra residue from the last time I cooked. But it's fine. It's fine. I swear. I think it says it's about a cup. It's like about a cup per three-ish cups. I think. Well, I don't have anything to measure this with, so I'm just gonna guess and just put it in. <laughs> and then you're supposed to mix it really well. I put like three spoonfuls. I hope that's enough. Yeah, it's really good as a, as like a sauce, like a paste. I sometimes I just put it on top of my food, just as is, and it's really good. It's very, very flavorful and salty though, so just like you don't need a lot. So hopefully this rice isn't like overly salty. <laughs> so that's what it looks like right now. Hopefully it's all good. And I'm gonna try to steam some spinach. Because I have a fuck time. I don't know if it's weird to steam steel mai at the same time as the spinach and just put it on top, but I'm gonna try. I got the shrimp one, so... I hope these are still good. They like, they used to be frozen and like now they're not. I'm actually gonna try to cook these vegan fish fillets. I mean, they're like not frozen anymore. Like I could probably just eat it like that, but they're better warm. Uh, usually I like to cook these, like I like to like pan fry them and like make them a little bit crispy or do it in the oven, but um, clearly we don't have that here. So I got this thing, which is supposed to be like a portable microwave oven for the car. Like it just has like this heat pad and then it just like insulates it and pretty much warms it up. So I'm gonna try that. And I'm just gonna cook all of them. Like I should probably just like not have it like stacked like that, but whatever, we're gonna try it. But these are really bomb. These are really good if you ever try these. So once it's plugged in, it's like, it just starts doing it. So I'm gonna do it for the same time that the rice is cooking. It's about 30 minutes and we'll see if that worked. Okay. Ooh, okay. The dim sum looks good. I think the rice needs some mixing. <laughs> okay, that's that looks much better. Okay. Hainanese chicken rice. It smells like Hainan chicken. I guess we should try this. See if I put too much or too little. Mmm. Mmm. That's some good shit. <laughs> mm, and I got dim sum. Oh, I, I'm gonna mix the spinach in with the rice. The spinach is fine. I just put some garlic powder on it. Into the rice you go. And I have dishwasher wipes to clean my dishes because I don't have a hook, because I don't have a sink. Here's the dim sum. Mmm. 
Let's see how the microwave did. Oh, well, it's certainly warm. Ow. And then I ate and I meditated on the beach. So, it's a little cloudy today, but I still went to the beach. <laughs> I just put the sauce in a container because honestly it's like extremely oily and it gets really messy really quick um so i just put it in a container i got uh i actually took a nap and i forgot to, to eat so here's my food vegan fish fillets and my spinach hainan rice uh, it probably doesn't look that great on the camera it doesn't look that great in person either <laughs> but i'm i'm pretty sure it tastes good because i know these vegan fish fillets are bomb i haven't ever had a bad vegan fish fillet like all the brands that i've ever tried of vegan fish fillets were always bomb i have had like not so great vegan chicken but um vegan fish has always been a hit so usually like i just like put i usually just scoop some and just like put it on top actually usually i make the sauce people actually really like my sauce like my version so yeah just saying but i can't make it so you know i bought one this one's really good though i, I like this one a lot okay so i put some of the sauce on and yeah it doesn't look that great on camera but it I, we're gonna find out if it tastes good i do expect it to taste good because i make this at home all the time the only difference is i wasn't able to make it the way i usually make it but Mmm. Mm. The rice is so good. Vegan fish is good. It's just I'm questioning if it's if it went a little bit bad because I kind of didn't store it properly. It smells okay. Let me try let me try a bigger bite. Alright, I think it's okay. We'll find down in a few hours. I mean it's vegan, it's not a real fish, so you know. 